Hi tires, Darren here, back with another fly tying episode. Today we're going to be tying a pattern I call the Ridgeback Skunk. The Ridgeback is more of a tying style rather than a specific pattern. And the style was developed by Rory Glenny at a BC. And basically, you just tie in a ridge of bead chain along the back of the uh, fly. And that'll help weight the fly, so when you're pulling it through the water, it's going to ride upside down. So that's why I've got the wing tied on basically as a throat. So, fly is not too difficult, and uh, it just may be a little bit finicky. So we're going to give that a try. All right, let's get started. We'll start off by putting a fresh hook in the vise. Today I'm using a Superfly salmon hook. This is model HKSHW, which is a heavy wire hook, similar to TMCO 7999. All right. I'm going to start off by putting on a Danville flat wax style on. This is, you can use any black thread, but I like to use this flat wax nylon because it covers the hook shank a little bit quicker. I'm going to switch over to a 6 uni thread later in the fly. First material we're going to tie in, we're going to take a little bit of white marabou. This is kind of the back end of my supply, so I've got two plumes just to help build up a little bit of bulk. So you can either strip off the fibers or you can just line up a couple plumes, whatever's easier for you. And we're going to measure the tail about the length of the hook. We'll tie that in right on the bend. And try and keep that up top. I'm going to wind back, trim that off. I like to keep everything uniform so that you don't get a lot of bumps in the body of the fly. Okay, that looks pretty good. So we're just going to, going to go and finish covering the body. So any white spots that you see, we're just going to go through and we're going to cover that with the 210 denier thread. And make sure you got both sides covered well. You can also use like floss on uh, this part, but we're going to be tying over top of this, so using floss is a bit of a waste. All right. Next, we're going to take a length of bead chain. So I've got this measured out for six beads for size two. And we're going to tie those right along the top of the fly. Top of the shank of the fly. As long as you got the first one, you're going to put a few wraps in there, and then they line up fairly well. 
you can just use your fingers to position them as you wrap each one. Right, next, I'm going to take a piece of silver oval tintal, and we'll just tie that in underneath. And probably I should have tied this in before I finish the body. This might show through a little bit, but no big deal. There we go. Okay, so we're going to wrap forward up to the head of the hook. And I'm going to take a black hackle. This is actually grizzly dyed black, but just any black hackle is fine. Neck hackle or saddle hackle. Tie that in on the side. Fold the stem back. Wrap over that and trim the excess stem. Then we're going to start palmering the, the feather and we're going to wrap one full turn and then we're going to wind back. And then with this wire that we have tied in, we're just going to do a cross wrap reverse wrap on that. Make sure that you wiggle the thread as you go through just so that you're not trapping any of the hackle fibers underneath. Couple wraps, pull the material back to lock it in. Come back, you don't have to cut, but if you just open your scissors and pull that stem, it'll break off easily. All right, I'm gonna switch over to my six aught thread here. So this will just cause less bulk on the head of the fly. You can still use the 210 if you like. So just tied that off. I'm just going to add a couple wraps just to make sure that that's fully on. And we're going to turn the fly upside down for the next part. I'm going to take a piece of Arctic Fox. I'm going to take out a small clump about the size of, well, maybe half the size of a pencil. I'm going to pull out any of the really short under fur. Then I'm going to grasp the base and then I'm going to pull out any of the guard hairs that I can get. And I'm just going to restack them and that's going to become the top. So we're going to tie this in just so it ends in the bend there. Tie it a little bit shorter perhaps. And got a few wraps and then we'll just trim off the butt ends. Right, next I'm going to tie in a piece of black peacock schlappen. So this just has a natural iridescence to it. It's not a dyed feather. It's uh, from a black bird. So it's got bit of green or blue iridescence, the sheen on the fly. So I just stroke back the feather a little bit, tie it in by the tip. I'm going to pull that tip back to lock it in. Trim off the tip. 
I'm going to use my scissors just to lay the inside of the feather down a little bit before we wrap it. Take my thread up a little further. A little bit easier just to wrap it with the hook down. <laughs> just you're used to doing it that way, right? Okay, I'll do about f four or five wraps with this feather. I'll tie that off at the eye. Make sure you always fold back the material to lock it in. It's not going to slip out. You can finish the fly here, or you can add one more step and add a pair of jungle cock eyes. So we're going to add that today. So you just want to make sure you got two jungle cock eyes, or nails, I guess, that are the same size. And what I do is I place them back to back. And I'll measure them on the fly how long I want them. And I'll pull those fibers back together so that they're exactly the same. Strip off some of the bottom and I can tie them in. I'm going to turn this back over. Because the wing is on the bottom of this fly, I'm just going to tie the jungle cock on a downward slope as well. And put the other eye on the other side. should be able to just pluck those in the jungle cock. I've got a thin stem. And if not, just give it a trim. You don't want to pull it apart. Alright, and then we're just going to give it a final wrap here. Just make sure you build a nice little head on there. And we're going to get a whip finish tool. Throw a whip finish. Add an extra one for security on there. And there you have the Ridgeback Skunk. Thanks for watching my fly tying videos. If you enjoy the flies, why not give us a like? If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to get all the latest fly tying tutorials. Do you have a fly that you'd like to see tied here? Post it in the comments below and we'll do our best to tie it in a future episode. I hope you join us next time, but until then, keep a hook in your vise.